I've always wanted to be like a um, an auctioneer. Hum did it on I did on on hum did it on I. My name is Seth Tomboli, and I am one of our student pastors at the Greater Little Rock campus. Me and my wife serve here. We love it so much, and today I'm bringing you the Devo. So today we're going to be reading in Philippians chapter 2, verse 7 through 8. It says this, Instead of this, of his own free will, he gave up all that he had, and he took on the nature of a servant. He became like a human being, and he appeared in human likeness. He was humble, and he walked the path of obedience. H2O. He walked the path of obedience all the way to death, even his death on the cross. So anytime we're reading scripture, it's always important to know the context in which it's being written. This letter was written to the church in Philippi from Paul, and Paul was writing this, and he was thanking them, and he was thanking them for supporting him, and he was also encouraging them. Chapter 2, what we're reading is really, it's talking all about, I've got my first ever Bible right here. It is like, it is in bad shape. Um, it is talking about imitating Christ's humility. So imitating the humility of Jesus, and a lot of people don't know what humility is. So I want, I want to kind of share that. Humility, you could translate it to low. And it's not to think um, of yourself of being low. Some people think that it means to think less of yourself. I would say humility means to think of yourself less. So not maybe thinking about your needs all the time, but thinking about what other people need and helping them. And so I want to talk about that at the beginning of this verse. It says, instead of this. And so we need to know what the other option was that Jesus had. So at the very beginning of this uh, chapter in verse 6, it says this right before the verse that I just read. It says, who being in very nature God did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. So Jesus could have looked at his relationship with God being the son of God, and, and he could have looked at it as an advantage, which I would say it was an advantage. I mean, dear Lord, I mean, he's he is the savior of the world, but this is what he did. Instead of that, he chose the path of obedience. I think it's really cool. Let's continue to read and check this out. So he laid down his own privileges, his own glory, and he made himself nothing so that we could live a life and become something. And I think it's really cool that Jesus endured the cross so we never had to. It's amazing. So there's two big things I want to point out. The first one is position. And the second one is the process. He was held in high regard. He chose the path of a servant. He came to serve and to not be served. And we hear that so often in the church. But how often do we take that mindset into our workplace? Let's say that you're a manager or you're the boss of an organization or you lead a lot of people. And you walk in and the reality is a lot of them are at that organization to serve the vision that you have and to serve Maybe even some of the needs that you have as the leader of the organization. But let me challenge your thinking. What if you showed up and you had a mentality of Jesus Christ in this passage? I'm going to take the path of obedience. I'm going to show humility. I'm going to serve. He had all the right and the power and the authority and the position to really do whatever he wanted to do. But he chose to serve people. Maybe there's someone in your workplace that you would love for them to get saved and start coming to church or whatever the case may be. I want to challenge you to serve them today. I, that's my dare. I double dog dare you to serve some people today and watch how it changed. Make some coffee for some people. Maybe, maybe take their trash out in their office and it'll start showing them the love of Jesus. The next thing is the process. The process. I'm very passionate about the process because it's why I have became who I am today. I was not always following God. I was living in sin. I was broken. I was hurting. Jesus saved my life. I'm so thankful that at age 20, Jesus didn't look around at his circumstances and say, God, Heavenly Father, you haven't sent me my disciples yet, so I'm giving up. God, you haven't sent me my cross. I, I don't have a cross yet. I don't have my crown of glory. No, Jesus endured the process. And I think that we are supposed to endure the process too. And part of that process in this passage, what Jesus is showing, instead of choosing this thing, let's serve people. 
Instead of taking this route, maybe you've got a position, you've got authority, whatever the case may be, let's choose this thing. It's loving people, it's serving people, it's not thinking less of yourself, it's maybe it's thinking of yourself less. I would love to pray for you guys, and I hope you have an awesome day. Heavenly Father, we love you so much. I thank you for today. God, I pray that this would sit in our hearts, God, that it would um, grow, that we would have a desire to serve and to love people well. God, you modeled it so well. Let us just get one ounce of that today, 1% of that today, and model it in our families, model it in our marriages, model it in the workplace, wherever we're at. We believe this and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Love y'all.